This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday 11-11, Veterans Day. Thanks to all our uh, veterans for their service to our country. And we have a cold air mass getting close, but one more mild day. Let's go in there and take a look. Boy, that's a cold-looking midwinter pattern here in the middle of November developing across the country. Uh, things unfolding as forecast. It's below zero this morning over parts of Montana. I mean, like the dead of winter. And you can clearly pick out the cold front. Uh, it's lined from near uh, Milwaukee down to Chicago, St. Louis, Fayetteville, Arkansas, just east of Dallas, Texas. And that is doing here tonight. Up north, we still have a few winter storm warnings for parts of northern Wisconsin, upper Michigan. Freeze issues for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. But other than that, things are pretty quiet. It's just cold in a lot of places. This is the overall rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And we'll see a little bit of rain tonight, but the better rain event will be in here later in the week. In fact, here's the seven-day outlook. This uh, you know, counts the Sunday event. And this is suggesting rain amounts could uh, go over one half inch, and we'll take that. We need a good rain, and Sunday looks like a cold rain for most of the state. We'll have to watch for some winter mischief near the Tennessee border Sunday night. We'll discuss that, but where we are, the north-central part of the state, just looks like a cold rain. Temperatures coming from the CPC. This is for November 18th through the 24th, and again, they stay below average over the U.S. east of the Rockies. All right, a lot of things to talk about. Let's dive in here and look. This is the GFS. We'll look at the OZ run today, valid at uh, 12 noon today. This is at 500 millibars. That intense upper low and trough is developing over the high plains. Down below that, a 1,049 millibar high north of Montana. Cold front uh, with a little batch of showers coming through Memphis and Lake Charles. And some of those could creep into northwest Alabama this afternoon. Uh, and by the way, I should mention this is actually 6 o'clock this evening, the map you're looking at now. And this is midnight tonight. That little band of showers is slipping through here. Rain amounts under a tenth of an inch, and for many places, not enough to measure. And that surface high is 1,051 millibars over Wyoming and Montana. Wow. It's amazingly strong for this early in the season. Tomorrow, the cold air begins to slip in here. Uh, we'd say for Birmingham, the high will be in the low 50s. North of Birmingham, the high will be in the 40s. South of Birmingham, mid to upper 50s, down around Montgomery. Uh, the sky will be mostly cloudy, though maybe the sun peaks out a little bit, a lot of clouds around, and just a, a blustery type day. This is Thursday. Thickness values are coming down. The high will drop into the mid to upper 40s. The sky will be bright and sunny, but very cold. Uh, we start the day Thursday morning probably around 30 with 20s north of Birmingham. This is Friday. Friday morning will be very cold. The latest uh, GFS Moss is printing 24 for Birmingham. Uh, and the high only at uh, on Friday will be, again, mid-40s. Uh, boy, it's going to be cold for the high school football playoff games Friday night, don't you think? They'll be in the 30s for those ball games. Speaking of football, this is Saturday, a big college day, and uh, you know we'll struggle to reach 50. For Tuscaloosa, you might see 51, 52 at kickoff for the Alabama-Mississippi State game, but once that sun goes down, you'll go right back down through the 40s. And Auburn playing over in Athens, Georgia, that's an evening game. They'll be in the 40s there, maybe reaching the 30s by the second half. Uh, very cold for both of those game sites. But again, Saturday will be dry. The sky uh, will be partly sunny. And look what comes in Sunday, a good little rain event. Uh, there's a surface low that forms near Gulf Shores. And uh, this is suggesting uh, some really nice rain here, maybe uh, uh, one half to one inch, especially with the heavier total south of Birmingham. And clearly, you, you, every look, you, you don't need a Ph.D. to figure out on the northern flank of this, we're going to have some snow issues. And uh, that'll be one of the forecast challenges we have in coming days. Uh, this is 6 o'clock Sunday evening off the GFS, and uh, this is snow. It doesn't show rain here. We've got rain falling down here, but you can see it is suggesting that there could be some pretty good snow falling from Nashville north and east Sunday evening, and a chance as the rain ends, the rain could briefly change to light snow down toward Memphis and the Mississippi Delta. 
This is Sunday night at midnight. And again, evidence is the rain ends. There could be a brief changeover to light snow over the northern part of Alabama, north of Birmingham. And that red line represents uh, where temperature should be around freezing. And this is Monday morning at 6 o'clock. Everything lifts out to the uh, north and east. Uh, this is the snow depth graphic coming off the GFS. And this is valid uh, Monday morning at 6 a.m. And let me show you a little higher, resolu higher resolution look at this. Uh, and this is no forecast. I understand, long-time viewers, you understand how this works. We're just showing model output. And certainly days in advance, we're not going to jump on this. But I do think that we will have to look at the possibility of a changeover to light snow as the rain departs Sunday night. And this is suggesting potential for just a little bit, maybe as far south as places like Fayette and Cullman and Onayana and Fort Payne with potential perhaps for some accumulating snow near the Tennessee border. Uh, but let me just caution you here that the uh, G uh, the uh, European says uh, no, more than likely. The accumulating snow will not affect Alabama. It's going to be really north of Interstate 40 in Tennessee, and even there it's not going to be that much. So, you know, when you've got model conflicts like that, you don't even mention this. There's no need to do that in the public forecast. We're just alerting you to the potential for some mischief based on the GFS, and this could all change. But understand, this is anomalously cold air. I think you have to err on the side of coldness here, if you will. Check the... Uh, Snow depth here. This is coming off the uh, GFS again Monday morning. That's a that's a you know over two inches for parts of Middle Tennessee, Nashville, up into Kentucky and Ohio and West Virginia. So we're just alerting you to the possibility of some mischief Sunday night as this thing kind of tails off here uh, north of Birmingham, and we'll fine tune this as we go. This is the surface chart Monday, and look another surge of cold air coming in here. Highs will drop in the 40s, the 540 line down to Birmingham. That's suggesting really a high only in the middle 40s. And this is a week from today, still cold and dry. We'll be well down in the 20s Tuesday morning. In fact, let me just show you the numbers coming off the ensembles here. Uh, you can see we got highs in the 40s on uh, uh, Thursday, Friday. And then Sunday, you know, we got 49 with a cold rain. And then back in the mid 40s on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, the, the ensemble here is just down to 25 Tuesday morning of next week. And it's really going to be Thursday morning of next week before we see a low out of the 20s uh, with that next batch of cold air. Ouch. All right, this is the end of the forecast, the 26th of November. High amplitude pattern, uh, trough on the west coast, ridging over the central U.S. and troughing over the east. And that looks cold. Uh, the 540 line down into northeast Alabama. So again, it uh, looks like we're going to stay below average all the way through the end of November. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.